Hey, what's good, YouTube? You know what it is? 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 It's only fifteen dollars. I'll drop the link below in the description. Um, yeah, once you cop that kit, man, you got like sixteen unique mini cars. Some, some of them I used before, but what you can do, like you can tweak these mini cars how you want, add sounds to how you want, and you know what I'm saying? If those, those type of sounds, if those type of files are very unique. You're not gonna hear these type of Progressions anywhere. Like these mini car progressions, you're not gonna hear them like anywhere. They're gonna sound familiar to you, but like these stuff, whatever you do, man, it's gonna be just got to do it. Alright, All right, I'm gonna get into the next one. Master, I've already seen some of these sounds. I'm loving it, but I'm still gonna go through. Right, for the first sound, what I did was I added very much beat good on it. That's what it beat sounds like. Saying to 61 percent, 200, 2700. Now, why did I go 2000? 293 hertz. But, um, to get your band looking like this, you're gonna change it. You know what I'm saying it's like step, like steps. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's how you get your band looking like this. Then I added, um, dark reflection. It's like a reverb, it's a spacing. You do if you don't have like this plugin right here, Echo Boy. Yeah, y'all need to get that. I need to get Echo Boy plugin, the Sound Toys plugin overall. Sound Toys, y'all need to get that. Um, second was the dark bass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I got this dark bass out of Massive X. The plug I got the plug from Serum. Phantom plug that I always use. And then I'm gonna go to my lead. The lead, I got the lead from Silent. It's called, it's called Winter Lead. I'm gonna try to hear what that sounds like. That's what the Winter Lead sounds like, or what I actually did. I cut the volumes down. This is how you level your sounds. You make sure you level your sounds and mix them the right way so that when you're mastering, you don't have everything fighting each other. I added a parametric EQ to it. I cut it down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? 475 hertz. You know what I'm saying? And then I added the Valhalla reverb on it and I changed the mode. Um, it was on Concert Hall, then I put it on Ambience, and I cut it down to 16%. And I have, then I added a bell to it. Okay. Then I have this pluck that I got out of Harmless. It's called Tiny Pluck. I got it out of Harmless, a stock plugin. Y'all can use that. sounds 
I did the same thing with the tiny plug, but this time I added a low pass filter. I, I right click on one of these bands right here, let myself a band, click on type, and then low pass again. You know what I'm saying? Added that to it. Then I added this one other stock reverb, but I don't really want to have too much of the fancy reverb because you know every reverb has a different feel, different atmospheric feel to it. Um, the kick, the kick is hard enough, so I didn't have to add anything to it more than just level the sound. And I added a parametric EQ to it, so I side chain it with the 808. I'm gonna get to that real quick. You know what I'm saying? The rim, the rim shot. I didn't add anything else to the rim shot. Sounding good already. I don't need to EQ anything. It's good. All right, for the 808, you're probably wondering why the 808 um, level, the volume knob right here keeps going up and down. It's because it's sound chain to the kick, right? And I cut the volume right here. And how you actually do that is you open the P controller, right? You copy the volume like this. You copy the volume. And then you go back to P controller on the kick and you paste it here on the bass. This this controls the volume. So even if you try to adjust the, the area volume from here, it's not gonna work. It's just gonna go back to the regular volume because this is controlling the area. Right? So you adjust the volume so that you don't get that dipping sound in the 808 or in the full beat, whatever the kick is. And you adjust the tension and the decay. Right? That's just it. Now I go over to my string shot right here, the one shot. I don't really have to add anything else to it, I just add it to the beat. That's it. That's all. I didn't add anything to it. Um, my hi hats, I just added a parametric EQ to it. You know what I'm saying? Cut it down a little bit right here. And then it's hit the six band and take up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I take a little, you know what I'm saying, take it up, the high mid right here, the high mid frequency, you just take it up a notch, added a reverb to it so I can get that full sounding out of it. I'm you know saying, give that I had some more fuller feel. Open ads, I didn't do much to it, just added pretty much EQ, you know what I'm saying, and cut out what I don't really want to hear, and just level the sound. The synth, did the same thing with the synth. And to get your band looking like this, what you do, you adjust it right here. That's how you get your band like that. And that's actually it for the mixing and leveling the sound. <laughs> Before you even go to the master, you gotta make sure you mix and level your sounds properly. Now I'm gonna add a parametric EQ to my mastering channel because I wanna cut out a sound, cut out a certain part out of the full beat that I don't really need. Right? So for the okay, whatever is playing out here, I don't really want that extra stuff, so I just cut it out. Same for Okay. And it also helps your kick hit harder too. If you notice everything over here keeps hitting over zero dB. That's gonna cut down when I add it. Then I'm gonna add the the soft filter to it. And this all right, two dB. soft filter to it, right? So after adding the soft filter to it, I'm going to adjust the threshold and then the pulse again. And what this does is whatever is hitting over 0 dB, it's going to cut it right down to 0 dB or a little bit too low. It's not going to go over. Once it's clipping, you get the orange, little dark orange thing going over 0 dB, the soft filter is going to cut it right back to 0. <laughs> Just gotta do it simple.
best way that you can. And that's just it. Like you do it this way, all your beats are gonna be sounding good and hitting hard. Like I've been getting comments on my beats. You know, That's it for this tutorial. You know what I'm saying? You know, so the guys are building and shit and shit. Um, just remember to hit that like button and subscribe. You know how we do. You know we how you trying to get this channel up. You know how we do. Peace out, man. And don't forget to grab that new kit. It's only $15, 16 unit, 5 for all your free. Don't forget.